How's everybody doing? Um, happy to be here. Uh, looking forward to this opportunity this week. Um, got a good task at hand for us in, in Atlanta at their place. They're uh, you know, leading their division, playing really good football right now. Uh, but for us, it's just keeping it you know, one and all mindset, just focusing on our prep each and every day and you know, just taking it small and simple and, and building up to game day. So looking forward to this challenge and happy to take any questions. What has this week been like for you? Yeah, uh, just uh, you know, you got to turn the page quickly and kind of start prepping. Um, it's a, it's a quick turnaround each and every week, so you just got to keep focus on the task at hand. And, and for me, it's just you know excitement and, and just a good opportunity to to fill my role for this team. Jared, how did your weekly prep change whenever Nick went on injured himself? Uh, yeah, just more reps with the practice squad. Um, that was a big thing, just getting more physical reps, um, feeling the speed, you know, going against our defense more often, and then just spending more time after practice, you know, watching film and, and spending time around Kirk and seeing how he operates and prepares. Um, and Nick was still around at the same time, too, so learning from him, too. So just taking advantage of every opportunity I could to learn from them. So even as the backup, you've got nothing with Jamal? Uh, no, just, just practice squad. So I go against the one defense, which, you know, a, a great squad to go against. They play very fast and, and just helps me get a feel for the, the speed. Jared, is it easy to prepare for this first start knowing you've got your first action on the road in a tough place to play? Yeah, I don't know if it's easier. I think it's just it's the same. It's always the same approach. You know, you always try to be prepared as if you're going to play. Um, now it's just understanding your roles a little bit bigger, and so you, you know you got to take a little more urgency to it. Uh, spend more time with the coaches; they've been great at answering questions and making sure that I'm getting the information that I need. And um, I'm just looking forward to take it day by day. Did it feel like you thought it would feel? You know, getting out of the NFL. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure how it would feel. Um, you know, just just playing on Sunday in itself was, was surreal, and um, you know, just just being a part of this is um, it's, it's a good opportunity. Jared, what makes you so calm? Like, assuming you are calm, yeah. not just chilling. Is that just your personality? I mean, I think that's part of it. You know, I think I'm a very chill individual. But when it comes to, to you know the game of football and, and just being prepared, I think it's it's taken a little by little. You know, I've said it before. Um, just relying on my coaches, and my teammates. You know, it, it's all about them, and, and you know they uh, they have a great plan for us every day. And, and again, it's just little by little. Take the small things until you know you build up to game day, and, and I think that's where confidence and and the calmness comes from. During the extra time that we see you spending after practice, there's a lot out there with mm-hmm. the coaches. Yeah. What's the biggest thing you try to get out of that extra time? Yeah, spending time with Coach Udinsky and Coach O'Hara. Um, they've been great at, you know, as far as if it's fundamentals, if it's hitting throws I didn't get in practice, if it's just talking through the script, plays I didn't run, just always trying to stay as prepared as possible. Um, just getting mental reps and then, you know, getting the extra physical reps. So it's, it's really just whatever we feel that, that day we need to get that I wasn't able to get just to stay sharp. And I really appreciate them and the, the time they've invested in, in helping me get ready. Was that their idea to start doing that or yours? Yeah, just kind of, I think it's just mutual. You know, you always want to, you always want to get better. Um, and that comes from their mindset for me in my development. And, and I feel like I've always been one that strives to, to do extra, do a little bit more and, and make sure I'm as, um, you know, as, as sharp as possible. You played in major college, played preseason. Mm-hmm. Was, did it feel different uh, playing the NFL game? Was it? A lot, yeah. It, it was a lot faster. Um, I want to say it, it's more complex, just because by Sunday you, you're so dialed into your game plan, it it becomes simple again. Um, but as far as the speed, it's 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 much faster than college, and and obviously you're around a uh, you know uh, more talent throughout the entire you know 22 man roster. There's a lot of good players out there that play fast and are are well versed in what they're doing. So, um, but you'd like to think that you can stay just as calm, you know, at this level as you did in college, and that just comes from preparation. Is it easy or not easy to to avoid? Yeah, I think that it's very easy to go down that that path and start thinking about that. But um, you know, lucky for me, coaches are constantly reminding me just to focus on this day, focus on this walkthrough, this practice, you know, this install, whatever it is. Um, you know, it's, it's a long career in the NFL. It's a long, it's a marathon, it's a journey. So you can't look at one game or or one opportunity like it's your last. Um, so for me, I'm really just focused on you know being as prepared as I can for these guys because you know they've grinded so much the last few weeks and, and come back from from so much adversity that I just want to do my best and just focus on this game. Kevin went through that. Yeah, yeah, we've talked, you know, without getting too much detail. It's just th- that same message, you know, the career doesn't, you know, ride on one game. Um, although, you know, you don't want to take the importance away from it. It's, this is, you know, the one and no week for us, and it's the only game that I'm focused on. And, um, you know, it's, it's you know, it's got to be my Super Bowl every week because it's the most important thing that's, that's coming next. What do you think your strength is at this moment? Yeah, right now it's just being able to learn. Um, you know, our offense has, has a lot of ins and outs, and so just, just leaning on my coaches again, um, I think that's, that's the biggest strength for any quarterback is understanding your playmakers you have. Um, your talents and abilities will always be there, but it's about the guys around you, understanding how to get them the ball, 
um, understanding what your coaches are asking of you and being able to do that. So I think that's hopefully my strength I focus on this week and, and can nail down. How much have you learned in whether from watching Kirk or just talking to coaches of, on your own? Last yeah, year, Kirk is a, he's always the most prepared guy in the field. And so for me, it's just watching how you know studious he is in his preparation. Um, you know, he's, he's always dotting his I's, crossing his T's, asking questions, and that's something I really respect. Just about the way he approaches the game and making sure he knows his game plan better than anybody else. And I think that's the tell of being, you know, the quarterback that he is and, and being that successful. In terms of building, controlling the offensive line of scrimmage, what has that process been like to get used to how much this offense has to do in that regard? Uh, I'm sorry. Just making checks, controlling. Tight oh, yeah, yeah, line. yeah. Just that whole system of making checks. I mean, Again, the coaches are great about you know getting our criteria for us every week, knowing what we're looking at. You practice it, um, you see it on tape, and so they, they try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and, you know, come game day, it's it's something you just see quickly, and you're able to do it. Is there any meeting with Kirk the off season that's been great for you? Yeah, we talked. You know, the night of the game, um, you know, texted back and forth this week. Um, you know, without getting too much into it, just just you know, send a prayers and thoughts his way. Um, he had some great advice for me. You know, just going into this first start, some some stuff that I really um, appreciate him taking the time to share. Um, yeah. Specific advice or more morale building as well? Uh, kind of both. You know, it's it's just your first game. Um, just like any you know great uh, leader, as Kirk would share, just to stay calm and, and just to rely on the guys around you in your preparation. Jared, how much in the offense do you think you, you can learn in the NFL game as a runner? Yeah, I think you know you got to have the mindset you can run it all. Um, I don't think we'll hold anything back. But again, it's just a matter of if I can be you know dialed in on my preparation and take advantage of every minute. Um, because you know it's, it's five or six days till Sunday, and so you got a lot of time to, to be ready to go by then. Do you go in expecting to get this blitz like crazy? And how do you yeah, I, you know you kind of prepare for everything. Another credit, you know, tribute to Kurt and everything he's he's uh, you know shown his preparation is you always be prepared for everything. So it'll definitely be a mindset if they were to blitz and do that stuff. But that's uh, you know, um, coaches they're they're kind of uh, in charge of all that. They know the looks and they'll make sure that we're prepared for anything that they decide to show or not show. Are you a more comfortable uh, quarterback kind of moving around? Yeah, no, I, I I think that over the last couple of weeks I've been able to you know really dial into the system, um, and again you know you trust your coaches, you trust the plays they call, and, and you trust your fundamentals. You know, Coach O'Hare has been great about um, you know teaching me my, my my footwork and everything tied to our progressions, and I think that's that's made me a much uh, more comfortable pocket passer in the last couple of months being here. Um, so you just like to play within the system, and, and whatever the coaches ask on top of that, I'll, I'll try to do. Yeah, it's a little different. Um, I think every quarterback's going to go through that in any offense they go to. Um, college, you don't, you don't, you know, install as much stuff, and um, but now at this level, you're required to understand it, to know it, and you have a lot more time to do it. And that's the biggest thing is I have so much more time to focus on the game of football, focus on our offense. Um, that's really what it comes down to is just mastering your offense. Um, the more you rep it, the more mental reps you get, um, the more practice reps you get, which will be great this week. I just think there comes a comfort with that. What do you think of your Atlanta's defense and how much uh, have you seen? Yeah. They're, they're, they're a really tough defense. You know, I think they're six right now in the league in, in yards per game. They've been playing great football. Um, you know, front to back, they're, they're phenomenal football players. So um, it'll be a good task for us. Thank you all. Have a good day.